Hello everyone. Today I wanted to do a uh, quick review here of this uh, Decoyu multi-tool. Uh, I picked this up for $24.17. There's no model number for me to find on there. I just, I looked all through it. I even got online and looked. I couldn't find a model number, but there's something that's pretty cool about this thing. Um, Let's open it. This is all that came. So just a cardboard box and that's it. No directions, nothing else. Let's get rid of that. It comes in this little uh, velvety case. So let's slide this thing open and whoops. There's a plastic line. Okay, so here's the tool. And uh, as you can see, there's something a little bit different about this. So uh, what caught me interested in this was uh, this feature. So to unlock this, you pull this this way and you slide it up and you can remove this tool from the tool completely. And what's inside of here is a nice pair of scissors. So you can use this off the tool or you can snap this back on here. And it locks back in there and you could use it on the tool it's not going to affect you either way if you use it on or off i just thought that was a cool feature this is probably the first multi-tool that i've seen that you can actually remove a tool from the multi-tool and uh still use it so for the rest of the tool you get a pocket clip here and you get a ooh, tight or maybe it's locked I'm not sure I haven't played with this one yet so so there you get a awl with the sewing eyelet and uh, that feels pretty sharp and then you get a straight blade knife. You get, oh, let's go from this side. If I can get in there, I haven't had a chance to play with this at all yet. So. Can't get the very end tool yet, but here we have a combination, like a precision size screwdriver. You get a can opener, you get a wire stripper, and you get a bottle opener. That's all one combination tool there. And down here, you get a saw. And uh, it feels fairly aggressive. And then in here, you get a serrated blade. And then the last thing you have on this side it's a uh, flat head, you got inch markings, centimeter markings, and you get a cross cut file with a small flat screwdriver on it. Now all these tools lock and uh, as you can see right here that is how you disengage the locks. You can flip it all away. 
back in. And same thing with the knife blade. Goes all the way back in. Let's see if I can just grab one thing out, get the all, you're gonna use that. Lock that into place. It's not going anywhere. It's locked in fairly well. That back down. And then as for the scissors tool, you would just fold this back up. And it goes back into the little channels and then it locks down. This goes over. But there was one more thing that I almost missed. And that is this. And this is a Phillips head screwdriver. It's short, but it does lock. There's a liner lock on this, so it's not going to fold shut on your fingers. I mean, as you can see there, it's locked in there fairly well. But as for this, I uh, would have to see. This isn't going to fit. I have a uh, bit adapter here for a another tool. It's, it's fairly loose. But I do have a kit, a bit kit that came with the Roxon KS2. It's a little bit smaller. I would like to try that kit on here. I think, uh, I think that one would fit. So why don't we give that a try real quick. All right, so here is the bit kit for the Roxon KS2. And I believe these are four millimeter bits, but this adapter here, as you can see, it fits perfectly on here. I mean, there's next to no play at all. It's like it was designed to go in here. And then, uh, let's see, you need a little tiny Phillips. It goes in there and, uh, it's magnetized in there, so that's not just gonna fall off at all. So that gives you a little bit more functionality when it comes to the Phillips head. So not only do you have a Phillips, but if you could pick up a spare bit set for the uh, Roxxon KS2 or any of the other Roxxon tools that take this bit kit, it adds a lot of uh, convenience to this tool it gives you a little bit extra and uh for not very much space to take up i mean that's a uh that's a good piece of kit to add along with it so i mean this is a really cool tool uh, i just wanted to grab it real quick to make a video of it i'll continue to test this out and uh we'll get a future review on this so, other than that, uh, we will catch you on the next one. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and uh, I appreciate that.